Boy, oh boy, do we have a good one here in Lexington. Indiana 2, Kentucky 2. The 3-2 pitch grounded towards the third base side of the diamond and past the diving Josh Pine. Rounding first and heading for second is Devin Burks. Well, he'll be in with a leadoff double for the Wildcats. The first hit surrendered by Ty Bothwell since the first batter of the game. The 1-0 from Bothwell is swung on and grounded down the left field line. It's in fair territory, and it'll roll all the way to the left field corner. Gilliam in the second. An RBI double, and the Wildcats have the lead here in the sixth. 1-1 one, one the count. The pitch on the way. That is swung on. Lifted out to center field. It will send Whalen back and to his left. At the track, it's off the wall. <laughs> Rounding third is Gilliam. He'll score for the Wildcats. It's a 4-2 ball game here in the sixth. Ryan Waldschmidt doubles off the wall in right center field. And the Wildcat lead is two. Four to two here in the bottom of the sixth. Yo two pitch. It's a cold strike three. A delayed cold strike three from home plate umpire Travis Renninger. Hunter Jesse didn't like it. Jeff Mercer and the Indiana dugout didn't like it. But that will bring the top of the eighth to a close. The one two on its way. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Tyler Cerny goes down swinging for out number one here in the ninth. 3-2 pitch on its way for Moore is swung on, lifted out to center field. Ranging back and to his left is Jackson Gray. He squeezes it for out number two. Awaits the 1-1 one -one from Moore. Swung on and it's back up the middle for a base hit. Philip Glasser goes right back up the middle for a base hit, a two-out base hit, and he extends the game. That'll bring up Bobby Whalen, who represents the game-tying run. Trying to at least pass the baton to the Big Ten freshman of the year. Two and one the count, two and with two down. Trailing by two are the Hoosiers with Glasser on first. The two one is grounded. Right side over to second baseman Petre. He fires on the first to Gilliam and that'll do it. The Wildcats storm out of the third base dugout. They're moving on to Baton Rouge.